Hello friends. In the previous video, we have seen how by using arcs concept, I will be able to eliminate the error. In case, if a function, the value or the arguments that I am passing is not only in the form of um, values, but if it is in the value of key value pair, then uh, I have to, instead of using arcs, I will have to use quarks, K, W, A, R, G, S, where K, W stands for keyword, keyword arguments, right? The only difference is I will be passing key and value. Along with that, instead of putting a single asterisk, I will be using double asterisk, right? Say, suppose um, there are students who are getting admitted into the university and once they get into the university, so there should be a greeting message given to them, right? So, in that case, say, I will say, uh, I will say, define greet, I will say, two asterisks, quarks. Whenever I use two asterisks, that means it is accepting, it is capable of accepting key and value. I will say print I will say hello then so I'll have one more for loop like this here how I have used same thing for I will be passing on key comma value both I'll be there in where is it available? It is available in quarks dot items. This is the syntax. Then I will be printing the value. Printing the value. Okay. Then I will call the function. Hello. Uh, I will say greet EOSN. I will say first name. Name is equal to within double quotes. I'll write my name. Then my USN. USN is equal to. I will write something. Then I will say branch. I will say ENC. Right. So now I am I will be passing on the key as well as values. Right. Let's try executing it. Right. So I got all these three. The space is because I have given space. So in case if I do not want it to display in the uh, different lines, I want everything to be displayed in single line, right? So I can say, hello, uh, after value here, say value ke baad, put end is equal to, right? Okay. So now in case if I do not want this hello also to come in the next uh, same line, if I want it to come in the same line, paste this here as well, right? So that's how I'll be using arcs and quarks in order to pass the arguments and parameters, right? See you in the next video. Thank you.